good morning. It is morning. The top is up, which is a bummer, but it's wet. So we don't put the top down when it's wet, which is a bummer. Uh, just a quick one today. I was uh, perusing Facebook and a lifelong friend of mine likes to post little questions to get people engaged and asked, what did you want to be when you grow up? And there's some good responses from some folks, uh, actually some folks that we both know too. And I was thinking about it because I don't have any distinct memory of ever wanting to be something when I grew up. When I was a kid, there's there I, I don't have a a real memory of, of having a a passion for something that I wanted to be. And there's things I was interested in certainly. So it's an interesting question. So I pose the same question to anybody that's watching this. Uh, jump in the comments. Let me know what your memories of wanting uh, to be when you grew up. Other than the John Lennon happy, right? Uh, I do. I sang all the time. My sister started making a book for me, which I still have, uh, watercolor. And there's a little boy named David who loved to sing. So that part, at least, has still been a part of my life ever since I was quite the young child. Uh, singing and performing, but I don't remember wanting to be a singer so much um, as a kid. Now, things have, I've been a singer as an adult, for sure, um, and performed plenty and did that, but um, I don't remember having the drive to, to be a performer. It looked in, I don't know. I, I was very interested in astronomy when I was a kid. My older sister, again, um, so like to share what she was learning with her younger siblings and so she uh, spent a lot of time in her college astronomy textbook showing me stuff which I found fascinating and I do uh, remember investigating marine biology programs when I was a senior in high school looking to see if I could um, pursue that because I did you know was influenced by Jacques Cousteau and National Geographic and, and those things. So I did at one point want to be a marine biologist, but that was like high school. So I don't know that I'd call myself, you know, what did I want to be when I was a kid? I always think about that as when you're younger, maybe. So, um, and I'll say here what I uh, am going to post on her post. I haven't posted on it yet, the, these thoughts, uh, but more briefly, of course. Uh, maybe that's why I'm still trying to figure it out. If you enjoyed this little short video discussion, um, feel free to subscribe. Hit that like button if that's what you're into, as a YouTuber I like to say says. Smash it and all that kind of stuff, or gently press it. And uh, we'll see you next time. It's almost noon, and I should not have posted the video that I posted already today because I got more to say, so maybe I'll have to edit that one. I am pulling into Longworth Hall, home of my talent agency, Heyman Talent. Yes, I do have a talent agency. I'm one of their folks. And uh, saw an email that uh, we have an audition today. So I thought it'd be fun to take everybody on part of that. Yeah, it's this really cool cobblestone road. Here, let me lift the phone up so you can see what I'm driving on here. Where I'm driving to. Um, I'm gonna find a parking spot here, so we'll uh, we'll walk inside. I never leave the convertible, but that's not true. Not never. Almost never leave the top down, especially in a public place like this. One of the longest buildings in the country, and um, Heyman has this really cool loft space up there. So we're gonna cruise on it. What, uh, Four, please. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. No All right, we're almost there. Fourth floor. We're gonna get off the elevator and see if there's anybody there. So I'm not. I'm not just talking. Actually, I love this window. I love this view because we're looking out over just the cool part, of Cincinnati, down here in the West End. There's most of downtown over on that side. We go.
Okay, so we missed out on the important parts of that. Actually, I'm gonna kind of hint this way. Uh, there's a there's just a, a little room in there, and when you go in the little room with Richard, uh, you slate, you know, I'm David Thomas with Heyman Talent. And then you do whatever the reading is. In this case, it was just some uh, questions about me to get a handle of the personality. So we're outside again, trains going by. Met some nice folks coming out, John and Teresa, who were uh, down for an audition too. And that's how it is. You say hi, you meet people, uh, and then you never hear anything ever again. Unless, of course, you get the job, and then you do hear it. But if you don't, yeah, on to the next, right? All right, I gotta go back to work. So that was my little uh, thing to add to today's vlog about what's been happening and what it's like to run down to Heyman Talent. Because I had an audition yesterday, exact same process. They're good people, they uh, are nice, they treat you well, and they do their best to get as much out of you as you can while you're in the audition room. Actually, that was the conversation that we were having on the way out with the two folks I was talking to was, do you ever do the self-taping at home? And I've done a couple of times, I don't really have a good space for it, and I find that, um, well, they don't recommend it anyway, unless I think you're really a seasoned pro that does these things a lot. Uh, the agency prefers that you do have them tape the guy Richard who uh, handles most of the, the taping stuff down here he's good at getting out of you what he thinks the audition's looking for and so that's always a better way to go all right I gotta stop I gotta drive I gotta put the top down I gotta get some lunch I gotta get back to work so have a great day and uh, we'll talk again